Civilian Space Flight is Coming, or Is It Already Here? Written by Shari S. The article was posted in bloggertown.com community, in Science and Technology category. Exit the World Tours by Yacht and Other Safaris in Mercedes 4x4, The Ultra-Rich Today Dream of Space A fantasy made possible by the multiplication of space tourism offers in recent years. And what better than a billionaire to liven up these surreal journeys? The emulation created by competition between a few private space companies, often owned by tech executives, has enabled many technical advances, mainly recycling entire sections of rockets used in previous missions. Without going so far as to evoke the democratization of space, these advances put an end to the omnipotence of state space agencies. The extraterrestrial is no longer reserved for professional astronauts. Civilian space flight flight is coming? We have actually been living in the space age for more than half a century, going into space stays an extreme rarity. Less than 600 individuals have gone above the Karman line the point, about 62 miles above Earth, that marks the start of space, and all were put there by the U.S. or another nation's government. Space Tourism Space tourism refers to space travel whose interest is neither political, scientific, nor commercial. The deployment of satellites for mobile telephony is of commercial interest. Such expeditions beyond the Earth's atmosphere have already existed for two decades. Before the arrival of private space companies, the Russian space agency Roscosmos was the only one to offer them. She will send two more people into space in 2021. And, thanks to her, seven privileged people have already been able to admire more closely the curvature of our planet and the infinite darkness that surrounds it. All left between 2001 and 2009 before the United States retired their space shuttle. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft found itself alone in being able to reach the ISS there was no room for a tourist. The first space tourist is a guy, and his name is Dennis Tito. In 2001, then age 60, this American spent eight days on the ISS with the best scientists from around the world. It is estimated today that he would have spent 20 million euros on this ticket. Not very economical in resources and material, space expeditions remain inaccessible to ordinary people. And even if you have some fortune, some of these offers are only for the ultra-rich. Count several hundred thousand euros for a brief experience, of weightlessness on the edge of space, and several million for the week, on the ISS with the entire board. The guided tour around the moon organized by Elon Musk, will only be accessible to multi-billionaires. The most affordable, all things considered, is undoubtedly the stratospheric cruise from the Occitan startup Cephalto, which will offer a 25-kilometer flight in 2024. Altitude. What can space tourists expect? What exactly is in the shop for private space tourism? Some state the most significant advantage of going into space is getting a remarkable brand new outlook on life, on the vulnerable blue marble we call house. But the rise of private space flight business like Virgin Galactic and Area X means that the final frontier might soon be within reach of a fantastic numerous more of us. The companies have actually revealed strategies to put private astronauts, aka space tourists, on orbital or suborbital flights in the next few years. The cost of a trip on one of these rockets will be hundreds of thousands of dollars at a minimum. That puts the experience within reach of only the most affluent people. But advances in rocket and spacecraft are anticipated to reduce the rate to the point that, people of more modest wealth can pay for a ticket. And while some companies such as Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are relatively affordable by comparison, they'll still charge an estimated $250,000 per seat. Travelandleisure.com If you are neither an astronaut nor a millionaire, there is a solution, however. Deadline reports that a reality TV whose winner would win a ticket to the ISS is in the works. Dubbed Space Hero the show would challenge candidates in physical and intellectual tests. The retransmission would be worldwide, and viewers would have the opportunity to vote for the most deserving contender. The lucky winner would take off in 2023 with SpaceX, in collaboration with Axiom Space, and his 10-day stay would be fully filmed to make a documentary. In the meantime, here is one of the most successful new projects in space tourism. 
Virgin Galactic promises to fly space tourists 100 kilometers above sea level aboard space. Ship. 2. Richard Branson's company relies on the suborbital flight, that is, having sufficient speed to reach 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, border between Earth and space, or Kármán line, but lower than the speed required to enter orbit around a star. The speed of orbiting around our planet is 28,440 kilometers. H. A large plane will drop a supersonic military aircraft 15 kilometers above sea level. The flight course differs significantly from the Blue Origin project, where passengers are placed in a capsule atop a rocket. Instead, Virgin Galactic intends to use two plans. The first, EVE, is a vast plane that carries the VSS Unity, the latest spacecraft in the Spaceship 2 range. It is responsible for making it gain speed up to 15 kilometers altitude. The VSS Unity then detaches from EVE and ignites her reactor to reach space at a supersonic speed, with an acceleration of 3.5 g. Passengers will enjoy several minutes in zero gravity. Once the desired altitude has been reached, between 80 and 110 km altitude, the VSS Unity switches off its engine. Passengers will then be able to experience weightlessness for a few minutes, while the plane drops to an altitude, where the air is dense enough for it, to spread its wings and have a lift. The aircraft then finishes its race like a glider to land at Spaceport America in New Mexico, United States. SpaceX is aiming to fly the very first all-civilian human spaceflight by the end of 2021. Daryl Etherington at Etherington slash three months announced its first all-civilian private spaceflight mission, a pricey stellar tourism launch that it wants to fly by the fourth quarter of 2021. The mission, which will utilize SpaceX's Dragon Team spacecraft and its Falcon 9 rocket, will include Shift 4 payment CEO Jared Isaacman and three crew members, to be chosen and sponsored by Isaac Mann, his company, and St. Jude Children's Research Health Center. That's one way to drive item adoption. The mission is known as Inspiration 4, and there's currently a considerable digital presence for it, consisting of a site with a countdown timer. Two of the seats on the four-person trip will be donated to St. Jude recipients, with one, which is currently assigned, though the person hasn't yet been recognized beyond Isaac Mann confirming. She's a diverse selection, going to a frontline health care worker, at the Children's Medical Proving Ground. Another is going to a member of the public, that will be selected from entrance to an online contest, based upon making a donation to St. Jude's. The last seat will be assigned to a business owner who develops an organization on Shift 4's e-commerce platform for online shops. Regarding the nature of the mission, it'll include pre-launch business astronaut training including direction and orbital mechanics and zero-gravity maneuvering. The flight itself will remove from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and it'll then circle the world for several orbits, around one every 90 minutes, the business says. At the same time, the spacecraft stays up for numerous days. SpaceX creator Elon Musk said that it's ultimately up to Jared, but that a variety of two to four days is what the company recommends. It'll then return to Earth's atmosphere and make a water landing in the Atlantic Ocean, where a SpaceX crew will recover it. Musk stated that the objective intends to use the SpaceX Dragon pill presently docked, at the International Space Station for this flight, which has NASA's approval and cooperation for the launch. Some state the most significant benefit of going into space is getting a brand new dramatic outlook on life on the delicate blue marble we call home. Related NASA said no to my astronaut dream, so I found another way, billionaire computer engineer Charles Simoni flew to the International Space Station, aboard a Russian spacecraft with the support of a Vienna-Virginia-based firm called Space Adventures, and he echoes that sentiment. It's terrific to go to space just because it's there, he states. Once it was ranked for human flight by NASA, SpaceX previously revealed that it would be looking to host private missions with Dragon. Now we understand when the first devoted private objective is seeking to take off. It may even beat other private area tourism efforts out the door, including Virgin Galactic's, private spaceflight company, suborbital flight day tours. SpaceX is sending civilians to space. When can you get a spot? Source, Command.